Hello, my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium. And today I thought I would like to do a um, painting similar to this one. Um, this one is 20 by 30 centimetres and I've got a 30 centimetre square canvas to try today. And I really liked this painting. I really like the composition and how the colours all merge together and the wispy tenderly bits. And I thought I would like to do something similar, but change the colours slightly. So on the bottom edge, I want to use this really dark purple. And then on the top, instead of just leaving it plain white, I thought I would use this Papio iridescent blue green and make a kind of a sky um, and then I want it dark around the edges and then a focal point kind of in the middle so have it white just sort of mainly in the middle there. Um, I've got some lovely pinks, some metallic and matte colours and purples. I've got this fluorescent pink which will make it really bright and colourful. Um, and then I thought I'd put the blues mainly at the top and then I've got some really nice greens at, for the bottom. This paleo iridescent yellow green is really nice and uh, this is a nice Arteza green as well. So they're very light bright colours and I just thought it would make it nice and interesting. So I'll put it on hyperlapse for you and uh, We'll see how it goes. It should be fun. I've got my balloons, I've got my sticks, I've got my palette knives. So I will get on and we'll see what I come up with.
is this painting and I couldn't help but fiddle a little bit more with it which is always the way with these they're just such fun to just add little bits to and as you can see it's looking very bright and really vivid at the moment it will dry that little bit darker and the iridescent and metallic paints will also come out a lot more once it is dry I did change that top bit a little bit I added a bit more white and I blended it a bit more with the balloon and the hairdryer. I just felt it just was a little bit too much of a contrast with the dark kind of papio iridescent blue green there. And I wanted the main focal point to be in this center bit, which is why I've designed it so that the edges go up and that is why I did it darker at the top to start with. I just felt it was a bit too much for contrast. So I'll show you all these little details done with the balloon and my sticks and just the paint that actually came off the sides of the painting. I didn't need to make a mixed tray at all. And then just lots of these little details, little wispy little bits, um, which I think would just make it quite pretty and interesting when it's dry. So I will let you see that when it's dry and we'll see what it turns out like. So bye for now. So here is this painting. It's had a couple of days to dry, so it's just about dry now. I have put it next to the original for you to compare the differences between the two. Um, the colours are obviously a lot more brighter and vibrant in my latest one. And the sky is obviously a very big difference and the size of the canvas. So I'll bring you in so you can have a look at this one. Uh, the colours um, are not as blended, which I wanted. So you've just got really big pops of colour. Those lovely greens really show up. And of course, the fluorescent pink is very bright. And there's a nice mix between the metallic and iridescent paints and the flatter coloured paints. Um, which I always really like to do in my paintings. I like the contrast between them. And all these lovely little details, these tiny little leaves here, which again, they really reflect in the light and stand out next to the more matte type of paint on there. Very pretty little details. And the same with the sky, because I used the Pabio iridescent blue-green, that's very metallic and very shiny. But then with doing the balloon kisses with the matte white, it's only shiny in places. And then it makes a really pretty pattern that catches the light. And I love all these tiny little details that I did with my balloons and my sticks and my palette knife. So just really pretty little details. And then this area in the middle is where I have the balloon kisses in the lighter pastel metallic colours that just shine through on the white. And then this area here is the white area with the little details in and that was the bit that I wanted to be the more focal point which is why I left that just white and didn't do the balloon kisses. So it's a real painting of contrasts with those really bright colours but the tiny little details as well. And again I'll put it next to this original one which didn't have the sky feature and doesn't have such bright colours and that one the colours have all merged together. So let me know what you think, which one you prefer because I'm sure everyone will have a different idea. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!